Hi guys, Jamie here from First and Only Events and welcome to the barracks. Uh, I'm going to show you around a little bit, so uh, let's have a quick squint. Car park's over there, uh, toilet and things here. And I'll just take you through and we'll go and uh, see the safe zone, which is quite an important area for a good site. Camera, going to be famous. Hello there. How are you doing, guys? <laughs> Oh uh, guys, this is a safe zone. We've got loads of tables and things. A massive safe zone area. This is the uh, brew kit going this way. Uh, got a shop here with your necessities that you need to be working with. Brew kit, usual sort of thing. Toilet outside. Lots of objectives. Looks like the marshals have had that area there. We've got more area through here because this site will get very popular. Uh, so we can turn the lights on here and we've got all more, more area there to play with. And then putting on our face protection, we'll go out that way in a minute. Hi guys, so uh, I'll take you out now because everybody else has left the safe zone. So getting a brief uh, take out through these two doors here. And we enter the play area once we go past the safety netting. Chrono table, huge old shenanigans, point twos and things. Chrono area. Then we're into the play area. We've got two sections to this site, uh, or two phases. So depending on how many customers we have, we expand out. Um, the beginning part of the site is what we call building 13, which is the, the main area locally uh, surrounding us now, where we can play in these buildings. Um, and that then expands out towards the back of the site uh, and we encompass more buildings with the more plays that we've got which is nice so today I'll just walk here around phase one which is building 13 and the surrounding areas um, so the boundaries of where we're playing is inside that building all through it and then we're going to play up to the boundary of this building which is the original Prince Philip Barracks um, it's got some cool moves and uh, areas that we're going through here. Lots of different tunnels and things to play through and have a go at. I think you get the idea. We'll walk around. Okay. So, uh, on this site, Externally, we're going to be using full auto externally, uh, and then when we go in a building or we're shooting into or out of a building, we're going to be using it on semi only. Uh, just keeps it safe and nice. Um, we can, if we need to, on uh, phase three, which God knows we'll ever need to do that, but if we get that many customers here, we can annex these buildings as well up to the Prince Philip barracks. Uh, but just now we just don't need them because we've got too much going on. It is a bit cool. Some of the marshals chopping down here. Having a look round. Looks like they've gone into one of the buildings there to uh, finish off the briefing and show everybody around. the back of 13 so it's quite a massive area like a t-shape you've got a uh, three stories going on um, and it's all interlinked right in the center by a fantastic stairwell cool place to fight over we've got some more buildings to the other side so there's a nice bit of woodland and full auto exchange outside and then you take it inside if they are uh, briefing down there, just showing them the layout of the land and where they're playing just now, we'll, uh, we'll take it in here and have a look round. So the site was decommissioned uh, about five, six years ago. The area that we are in, or what we're going in now, was uh, battered by some special forces training. And uh, they took quite a lot of damage really. I know this camera does quite well in the dark. If you look around the door frames, you'll have to take everything off because they basically blew the doors off. 
in a Michael Caine fashion with some nice explosives. There was quite a lot of ordnance and crazy stuff hanging around. What's this? An entry level shotgun shell. Quite bizarre. What does it say? L8A5. Magnum guns only. There you go. Main stairwell. Takes you up throughout the, the building and all the surrounding corridors and the dormitories. Uh, you can even go downstairs to the basement, that's a cool area. Um, there's a lot of light and dark areas to be going at. It's lovely. Why don't we just go and have a quick look at some of the dorms? And you'll get a feel for it. Uh, I mean, it really is twisty. Lots of rooms, small rooms, hiding in, getting sneak on. So there was four beds, I think, in each dorm. And uh, they had their little adjoining cupboards and things like that. And that's what most of the buildings based around, are the, uh, the dorms. What I do love, though, is the dog legs. And you've got these areas where you're going to have to fight through and clear these, but you're also going to get challenged by the, uh, the dog legs on the build of the building itself. Whereas this one here comes up some stairs and your dog leg left, and you're right, and then you're into another corridor area which would lead us to where that marshal disappeared before. Okay, cool for now. I'll show you some more in a bit.